All right, here we are inside of our fish. So we are looking at the organ anatomy. We see the heart up there in the throat region. We can see the bilobed liver, which is quite small in a bony fish. In the sharks, it will fill almost this entire body cavity. And we can start to follow along in the intestines. You can see the intestines wrapping around here, the pyloric cecae with some fat reserves on them. And if I flip it up, you can get a good view of this stomach. So the stomach kind of comes in here and then up and then it wraps into those. And so we can just go ahead and slice this open and see if there's anything worth looking at in this stomach. It feels pretty empty to me, so this fish might not have enjoyed a last meal. Yeah, so we just see some digested matter. But one of the things that you can see perhaps is those folds in the stomach. So increasing surface area, so lots of digestive juices out there. Oh, a worm. Mm. So I ate a worm. There you go. These guys are pretty omnivorous. Okay. All right. So nothing else good in the stomach. All right. And then you see that it flows down to the intestines. And if you follow it, you can see that they will, you can see this dark, darker intestine where the more digested stuff is. And then you'll see, well, just unconnected, but it just was connecting to the anal opening there. So we'll just move that aside. And now we'll, what we can see are laying out here two lobes. These ones are the gonads. And so a way to tell a male and a female fish is that usually the males, the gonads, the testes, they will be white and narrow. And the females, they tend to be more pink and rounded. So this is a female. She is not gravid, but she's getting there. So she's mature. I can see that by the fullness of her gonads. Um, but they still, they could be quite large when she's ready to start breeding. Um, you'll see the eggs within there, All right? And what else might we want to see? We can still see a little bit swim bladder blown up. Um, yeah, I think that's about it for now.